what is going on guys welcome back to the channel good to see you all again let's talk about some mullen um so what i'm really liking is the pr that we just keep getting is it just me or is mullen actually becoming a company you know that we're getting some great pr releases it looks like we're on our way we got a production facility now we got plans we actually have a new hire which i'm excited about i'll tell you why we'll go over just a little bit of details on that we'll look at the ortex we'll look at the charts we'll see how we're performing but all in all i am excited for what i'm hearing so check this out so you know mullen automotives hires former gm executive john schwegman to oversee ev growth now it's it looks like as far as the charts are going people are liking this news that's what we want to see it doesn't matter if i like it it matters if all the big money and everybody back there wants to like it as well so they've appointed john schwegman as its chief commercial officer cco now i don't know this for a fact but i think i know where those shares went you know those ones that went to an undisclosed recipient hey maybe somebody got some shares to come on board so what's interesting is he spent 35 years of his career at gm and he had various roles that were going on there but he oversaw the growth of commercial product lines now we know that that's probably going to be pretty important to us he relaunched gm's previously retired medium duty commercial fleet business so what does that mean for mullen well, Schwegman's primary focus will be on the growth strategy for Mullen's lineup of commercial EVs covering the Class 1 through Class 6 of light and medium-duty trucks. So nothing that is unfamiliar to this man. He's coming into something that he's already done, he knows how to do, and he's going to do it for Mullen, which is awesome. We want somebody with some experience. We want a team in there that knows what they're doing and how to really push this stuff forward. So his primary focus is going to be on the growth strategy for Mullen's lineup of commercial EVs covering Class 1 and through Class 6. I think we just read that. Mullen's current commercial vehicle lineup, they, it includes the Class 1 and 2 EV cargo vans. And we know that they made an acquisition of Bollinger Motors, who includes Class 3 through Class 6 commercial vehicles. So awesome. John has tremendous experience in commercial automotive sales, which may or may not you know ever impact his actual position that he has with mullen but uh he it does make him a strategic addition to mullen so let's see what he can do from there looking at the short interest right now the live short interest percent of the fleet free float coming in at 12.51 percent we do see that growing like i said, keep saying i don't want to see that keep growing but you know what somebody's going to try to hold it down no matter what so they're coming in but obviously our price action is still being pretty decent so we're outpowering them right now so they can do what they want live short interest clocking in at 53.79 million utilization 64 percent cost to borrow still dirt cheap 6.12 percent so does it make a whole lot of sense to short it i don't i don't know i feel like we're becoming a company i feel like there's something that's going on now that's moving them in the right direction and why would shorts want to pile in at this price you know it's it's there's not a whole lot of reward unless they could actually truly bankrupt it and i don't know that that's going to happen um so let's continue to watch and see maybe they'll pile in and then they'll be buyers right here in the near future for us how's our charts looking let's look at the one hour first so the one hour it respected this trend line got a nice bounce we are moving we are moving very nice i like the levels the levels seem to be working out very well um, we drew these up yesterday We've got you know our nice bounces off of there we can see that they are pretty close to rejection and support lines and are we just going to consolidate for a little bit well we could um it might want to go a little bit higher with the new pr release about you know the c uh, the chief was he CCO, COO, whatever he was. Let's see if they want to push this into a different channel for us to kind of do a little bit of consolidation until we get that strikingly different tour. But so far, uh, I mean, a beautiful trend line that we can ride. This isn't too steep. It's very nice support, I think, for us right now. 
we're uh, you know bouncing above our channel down here of support around the 32 cent line so our trend line hopefully will come into play and we won't ever have to see this for the foreseeable future maybe we can just pop right up into our 36 use that as support until you know a later date but we're going to keep an eye on it i like the news that mullen keeps coming out with like i said i think we have an actual company now and i think they're on the right direction i think they're trying to turn things around and um, what better time than now so let's see how it all plays out i hope you guys have a great weekend be safe out there i look forward to talking to you either over the weekend or we will be back on monday to chat for sure as always, stay golden, people, and may your accounts stay green.